what does community mean to you? That was the focus of the 2022 Vital Signs Survey by the Victoria Foundation. And for newcomers to the island, finding community and belonging is especially important. In this week's Vital People, Tess Van Stratton takes us to the Intercultural Association of Greater Victoria to see how they're helping to make a difference. So the question is, what do you need and what do you want? So they're different. This ESL class is one of the many services that the Intercultural Association of Greater Victoria offers newcomers. Last month we helped uh, 800 um, newcomers that came into the Greater Victoria area. They're refugees, immigrants, and also the Ukrainian displaced people. Helping them one step at a time, um, getting, uh, embracing their new community and integrating into their new community. And when you came to Canada, Patricia, you needed a passport or a And a big card. part of that, through classes and settlement services, okay. is helping people find a sense of belonging. We really build community and newcomers, um, just like anyone else, needs community. One of our priorities is to ensure that there's social connectedness, opportunities to connect, especially with newcomers coming in. They have basically left their whole family and community connections behind. Community is working with and living with and doing business with people that you know. Community and what it means to each of us was the theme of this year's Vital Signs report by the Victoria Foundation. It was a springboard off of last year's Vital Signs where the theme was centered around equity and inclusion uh, and we heard from that that there was a lot of work to do so we wanted to drill down um, into kind of the issues. Issues like hate crimes which have increased in the last five years and discrimination. A number of clients would report to us um, discrimination, microaggressions, um, and outright racism. Uh, we do experience that with landlords uh, not wanting to even um, entertain the idea of, of uh, a refugee family looking at their unit. For the first time in vital science history in Victoria for 17 years, housing uh, received an F letter grade. A severe shortage of affordable housing has made it even harder for newcomers to find their footing, but thanks to the support of the Intercultural Association, they're navigating a challenging situation. As for community, while the Vital Signs Survey found it can mean different things to different people, at its core, it's all about connection and belonging. It um, really connects all of us. It connects us to um, a greater um, society uh, that we're not alone. I think isolation is a huge barrier and a lot of our newcomers do face that because of language barriers, uh, cultural barriers. You came to Canada and you Vital People, brought to you by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.